All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's move them from the holding area. Oh yeah, look at them jumping around in there. Fast and furious once yes, again. Yes, you exceeded <laughs> all of our expectations for this build. It looks amazing. This just makes this eagle exhibit pop. <laughs> All right, day two is here. Biggest concern is the skimmer getting heaved up out of the ground. That's because of the groundwater as well as rainwater here coming in on the project. I'm gonna come in with some of these five foot stakes and I'm going to drive them in on either side of that skimmer. I'm then gonna bolt the skimmer directly to the steel posts and that's gonna help to hold everything in place. The other thing that we did is we did a trench out the back, which we did yesterday to alleviate some of that water and give it a path of least resistance. So I think between the two of these items, I think we should be in pretty good shape. You can see we've already drained this out, but it's almost like a water bed underneath. You got that groundwater coming up. So we're trying to get weight on it right now. And I want to try to start getting water in this deep section to push it all into our grain in the back. Of rhino and they are found in India and Nepal. 12 years old and their life expectancy is about 40 45 years. A very healthy young man. There's 80 of these animals here, here in North America. They're a solitary rhino species, so they live by themselves. Mom will push calves out of the territory about two or three years old. People look at him, see that he's by himself, and think that maybe he's sad, but he really, that's how he wants it. He would see another rhino as a threat to his resources and his territory. <laughs> You'll realize his skin is really tough, but it's still very sensitive. Yeah. It's about an inch thick in certain spots, but he can feel a fly land on him. He can feel you guys scratching him right now. Wow. One of the reasons why he wallows a lot in his mud. So we have, you know, a, a red clay pit and what mud wallow. We have some natural mud wallows up front, and then we have his pool as well. Well, All these little differences in color and the striations in here, it looks like the Okavango Delta <laughs> of Africa to me. <laughs> it looks like you're looking at it from 30,000 feet. Yeah. So this looks like little tributaries of water and these would be like raised areas of plants. Fractals. Fractals, gotta love it. Nerd! <laughs> Steven, remember you and I were talking earlier about the viewing areas? We were standing back over there looking. Yeah. So we're try we'll try to keep this really nice and low and clean. And I know you're using some of the foam in here. You probably use this more in Florida because of your heavy rains, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I, I foam a lot of edges. <laughs> Just keeps all that stuff from washing in between everything, kind of yeah. locks everything up, and it keeps that nice clean look. Yeah, it can be a little excessive running foam around the entire project. But when you got rain like we do, it's an element of... of <laughs> protection i hear you no you definitely got to do it and in the long run it's going to be worth it so it totally makes sense i love the way this is looking so far these edges lo are looking awesome you guys are killing it all right zach this piece of wood that you found somewhere on the property i have no idea where you found it is phenomenal actually so much so that we had another piece here we moved it what i love about it is it's adding that biodiversity we're looking for it's got some of the mosses and stuff growing on it but also this piece of wood is going to grow different types of microorganisms than the rock wood or than the sand or the aquatic plants and things like that so it's really helpful from a biodiversity standpoint where'd you end up finding this guy right here right on site local to the zoo oh we had to make a few cuts just to make it fit right but we got 
got it done. We got awesome. It, in here. it is perfect. And it's a piece of oak, so I know it's just going to hold up really well for us. And on top of that, it is going to be a perfect perch for those eagles. And they're going to have a full view of this entire water feature. So perfect job, bud. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. This is the moment we've been waiting for. So they are positioning the eagle. They just moved them from the holding area. Now they are positioning them inside this covered cage over here. Oh yeah, look at him jumping around in there. So he is definitely going to be a little freaked out. Oh, check him out. He is on his favorite rock, according to Kelly, the keeper here. She's saying that's his spot, so he loves that rock. So I'm hoping he has a new favorite spot, which is going to be over here. <laughs> perched on that log or on one of those rocks adjacent to the waterfall. That's the hope. But we're gonna have to see how he adapts to his new habitat. As like anything, animals, people, we're all creatures of habit. And when your world is thrown upside down, it's gonna take you a little bit, a little bit of time to adapt yourself to that new environment. <laughs> Fast and furious once yes, again. We yeah, got you exceeded of all of our expectations for this build. It looks amazing. Thank well, you I so appreciate much. it. Thank you for all the legwork you did on the front end. Your team bringing in the fill, mm -hmm. getting everything ready for us to get the heavy equipment in. I mean, it's all those little things that make our job a lot easier. And actually, we finished ahead of schedule, which that doesn't yes. happen too often. <laughs> so that was a nice treat for everybody. It certainly was. But what do you think so far? I mean, I, I tried to step back and look at it earlier, and I know it takes a little time to kind of get used to it, but I'm really happy with the overall design. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's such a big change from what the Eagles had, which mm -hmm. is basically just a small little concrete pool. This yep. one is so dynamic. It's definitely going to increase their welfare with, you know, the different types of substrate that you have in there, the mm -hmm. different levels of water, and then being water-loving birds, this will be great. I can imagine them, you know, taking baths in this just every day. So That's awesome. We're really excited for them. And even just listening to the sound of the water, mm -hmm. and then they'll be attracted to that sound and, and the waterfalls itself. So, yeah, this is going to definitely increase their welfare 100%. We wanted to have a variety of different boulders and things like that going around the edge. This is kind of a cobblestone -y beach. Normally, I would go with smaller river stone, but you gave us directives saying, hey, we, we can't have that, which I think this turned out great, so I'm really happy with the look of yes. it. What is your concern with smaller gravel, if you could explain that? So me. anything like golf ball size or smaller uh -huh. has the potential for the eagles that they might try to swallow it, which okay. would be real detrimental to the birds. So something this size is gonna be perfect for them, and we won't have to worry about them trying to swallow any of these by accident. Nice. It kind of breaks up the monotony of everything, because we have some of the beautiful sandstone boulders, a little bit of the cobblestone beach, and then the beautiful oak logs that yes. you found are perfect additions because I think it fits in with the amazing environment that you have mm -hmm. here. I mean, I think this is one of the most unique zoos in the country. <laughs> I mean, it really is because it's it's a jungle. Yeah, a lot of our exhibits are outside and uh, we use the Florida natural environment to enhance those exhibit spaces for sure. And this just makes this eagle exhibit pop. starting up on top and horticulture department came came through for us. They yes. had a few accents and I'm sure they're gonna probably, you know, continue adding more things as yep. necessary. Starting out up here with our waterfall. This is gonna give us the desired water quality. This is an upflow biological filter. We're sending water from the skimmer into the bottom. We have a sedimentation chamber and we have several different layers of filtration media. I know the water is murky right now, mm -hmm. but two days or so from yeah. now, you will see the bottom and you're gonna be able to see that beautiful substrate going through everything. And it's because of the biological filter filtration, but it's also because we have an auto dosing system, which is dripping in beneficial microbes, bacteria, and enzymes, mm -hmm. which is going to create like a bacterial flock. It's going to start to colonize the filter media itself. Yeah. And what that does is it attracts all these little microscopic particles. So it actually gets better and better once that filter gets established. Mm -hmm. Then we have these beautiful little waterfalls yes. coming out. They're not massive. I know you voiced some concern. We didn't want to create a mountain here. Correct. You know, it's not going to work. Yeah, so our eagles are rehab birds, so they were injured somewhere in Florida. A local rehab place took them in, got them back to health. 
but they can't be released back into the wild. So they have issues with their eyesight and they're flightless. So we want to make sure that this was nice and low. There weren't any steep angles because that way they can traverse it better. We don't have to worry about that injury themselves. So waterfalls on the lower side, but I do think it creates a nice ambiance for the overall oh, area. Yeah. You could hear it, you know, you have a concession stand over there. But again, that's really important from a biological standpoint because that's the aeration system. Oh yeah. So that's feeding in all that dissolved oxygen, which is critical for the overall water quality of the system. Yeah, it's great. And just the sound of it alone, it's just nice and tranquil and peaceful for sure. It is. I love these narrow, deep little waterfalls going into deep pockets of water. It kind of has that more of a base tone to it. Mm -hmm. It is very, very soothing. And then we have our final piece. Actually, I shouldn't say the final piece because uh -huh. this is really where it starts, honestly. But you can see here we have a skimmer system installed. It is adjustable. I remember one of the other things that you had mentioned to us for future. If you had some smaller birds, we might want to lower the water level. Correct. So yeah. by opening this, screwing these, and pushing it down, and then draining the water down to this bottom section, mm -hmm. it will lower the water level for us. Your staff is probably pushed to the limits on a daily basis because you have so many unknowns. Yeah, we work real hard. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> yes, you Yes, very difficult job taking care of the animals, the enclosures and everything. So if we could help to minimize some of that maintenance, I mean, that is a big goal for us. Yeah, this is way more efficient than our last pond where we had to bring in pumps to worry about hoses and yep. electricity. It'll save us so much time. So you were able to put in the electric for us before we arrived, Correct. which worked out perfect. So we have this faux stump. It's going to help hide everything. I know you were very concerned about eagles having access. Yeah, we don't want them messing with them, getting too curious with any sort of tubing or wiring or electricity for sure. This is that dosing unit I mentioned. This is like an automatic IV system. So it is dripping in beneficial microbes, bacteria, as well as flocculants, which are going to help deliver water quality. It's very easy to maintain. I will set you up with a bunch of these bags. Thank you. So all you have to do every uh, six to eight weeks, you're going to mm -hmm. change out a bag. Got it. And that's it. Well, it has been yep. a pleasure. Likewise. <laughs> Tell your entire team thank you because it's been a blast working with y'all. Will do. All right, everybody. If you enjoyed this feature as well as we did, definitely check out the radiated tortoise build that we built last year.